my taser. I got my taser because there is a lot going on in the world. And I'm not finna play with these people. They're not finna try to take me or get me or any of that. Y'all, if I ever go missing, come find me. I did not run away. Hey y'all, it's your girl Tasia. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss when I upload a video. So as you can tell from the title, I am going to be sharing with you guys some things that's in my book bag, as well as giving you guys some tips on how to prepare for college and getting through. Okay? Okay. First things first, here is... First things first, here's my book bag. This is really, really cute. It's Adidas. Love it, love it, love it. It's small. It's just right for me. So it has two water bottle pockets. It has this front pocket and then this pocket up here. So here is my book bag before I get home. First thing is my laptop. So I'm going to take my laptop. Um, Not every day, but most days just because I might not always want to sit at the desktop computers in the library. So I'm going to take my laptop with me. Then I have my three subject notebook. I usually get five, but because I'm only taking three courses this semester, I got three. Um, and I don't necessarily buy folders anymore. What I do is I kind of utilize the folders inside of, I don't know if you guys can see, but, and there's um, pockets right here. So I'm gonna utilize these folders and, um, you know, it can, it can get overwhelming with some of it. So that comes along with my next thing that I have. This is um, a seven pockets organizer. This is for personal uh, business and school. My journal, this is for my bright ideas that pop up on me all throughout the day. I love to jot down everything, like I just love all my business stuff, I just love to like, just write it down, just write it down, sketch and like um, budget, all of that. So if anything comes to me while I'm out, I always wanna have this handy. Right, cool. So then I have this pencil pouch, it's also by Five Star. I actually started college with this, um, so I think I got this like senior, maybe we came here. Got these, and then I got these new pretty purple pens for my compact stapler. Um, you're gonna need one. You know how to get them this big? I didn't know it was that big. I thought it was smaller. I think they had one that was like half of the size. But anyway, got my secular. These flags by Post-it. So here I have these flags by Post-it. You can see it says, on test, study, and to do. So like, you know, taking notes, I would simply just, you know, take it off, put it on a page. Or if I write, if depending on how class goes, if I write down a homework assignment and jot it down in my notebook, I'm going to put the to-do here. And I just, this is just like a great extra reminder for me. TI-84 plus scientific calculator. I got this my senior year. They are more expensive now, but in most schools that you um, borrow them or check them out at the library. It's gonna save your life. All my, my math majors, nursing majors, sciences, this is gonna save your life. Get one, invest in one or something similar. A little makeup bag thingy. Of course, extra last year's last year. You never know what the day brings you. I got I got that thick hair and it's hot outside. So I got my little edge touch up, whatever, right here. But I always take that. I got my my AirPods and spare to my car and then can't go anywhere without these two babies of my life so i got my i got my lip gloss and then i have my taser you know my car keys are gonna be in there too but i got my taser because there is a lot going on in the world and I'm not gonna play with these people. They're not gonna try to take me or get me or any of that. Y'all, if I ever go missing, come find me. I did not run away. And this next thing is not necessarily gonna be in my book bag, but it'll be like in my car and I'll probably go get it, like, you know, to study or to sit in a library with, you know, if I'm sitting down and I want to, you know, be on my laptop. So this is like a little, a little this thing here. You know, it sits on the lap. 
and it's a curious the last time like it's really good you can sit your drink up there and things like that like i said this will never be in my book bag but i will like carry it with me like in my car or go get it for study purposes or being on my laptop okay cool oh i also have uh this dry erase board with the poster lights um it's currently getting installed i didn't know i needed batteries for the poster lights don't judge me first thing is um to use google calendar mark your dates mark important dates mark your dates mark your quizzes mark your homework assignments i know the first thing that i do first week of school i go ahead i set all my syllabus out and i i, I drop down dates I, I stick them in a the calendar i write them down and i go ahead and get them in my mind get them in my system so write down your dates um and this kind of these two kind of coincide but set your days aside okay discipline is better than hustle and what i mean by that is yes you can be a very good student and very unorganized but if you have discipline you say okay on monday and wednesday i'm going to be at school tuesday and friday i'm going to be doing ministry i'm going to do this i'm going to do that set those days stick to them and keep your word make sure your family and those around you your business partners they are aware of your days and they respect them you understand what i'm saying you let them know hey on this day um you know these are my school days not saying that you can't call but i'm gonna be a little busy and then you know because i told my my spiritual father i call him dad i said look dad you know mondays and wednesday he kind of you know we was talking about he's like all right daughter so what are what are your what are your school days on like, monday and wednesday i'm kind of I'm kind of dedicating them to school work and but you know Tuesday and Fridays I'm all yours whatever you need me to do you know because I run the media for my church so making videos things like that I do YouTube I'm about to go back to work so you know have your days and make sure the people that are around you that are working with you respect your days and they are aware let them know what's going on make sure that they're mindful make sure that you're being disciplined about your days what days you're gonna do what what days you're gonna take time out what days you're going to do school what days you're gonna do personal what days you're gonna do any other obligations set those days so this third thing that i want you guys to do this is for building your schedule so focus on your focus on the professor when you're choosing your classes and you're, you're building your schedule so right my professor is a universal thing where universities um professors are rated the students get on there they leave feedback they get them stars they tell you um at, about accents grading styles homework loads quizzes how is administered their teaching styles like they're even their personalities if they're cool if they're strict if they're old school if they're new school if they're eccentric like how they teach and things like that and i know i love that because i get to go in there and see what teacher is best or what teacher i, I like for my learning style so make sure you're using that because um you never want to be in a class where you don't understand your teacher i will never forget spring of 2021 i took kim i feel i've never taught a class a day in my life i took the same exact course over the summer accelerated and aced it so it matters trust and believe me it matters okay. use your school resources so school research school resources are scholarships school resources are is counseling the library um checking out calculators using make sure you're down you're not paying for like your microsoft office and downloading it from your school make sure you're using your resources to their full like 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 milk it you're paying for it milk it whatever you have that's available use your resources it's going to be very beneficial for you and in the end like i said you're paying for it so anything around you anything that they have going on, on campus support groups counseling advisement use your resources don't just be out there just ah like no they're there for you believe it or not they're there for you so use your resources i know my school is good about being there for me and i use my school's resources to the full extent okay okay number five is to make sure that you connect with your classmates because like in high school everyone probably has the same question the same concern about the same exact assignment and the same exact question and you'll be surprised when you reach out and you'll be like oh my god like i'm not the only one like this is something i have to get over because i don't like people <laughs> i don't like people i'm very introverted around people i don't know so it's like mm, no but you guys it, it is very beneficial and you're going to get a lot of help and you're going to you're gonna you're gonna excel when you do this i'm, I'm telling you like your classmates they're going to help you out so much like it's really gonna help you reach out to your classmates you don't have to necessarily get to know them you don't have to go out and you don't have to be friends you don't have to 
sit around and eat lunch together. But when it comes to that work and them quizzes and them study guides and that stuff, and you be like, what? And everybody else be like, yeah, girl, what? You don't want to study? And I'm like, no, like, and we come together, we figure it out. And some people know, some people actually know and had an answer for you and will share it with you, walk you through it and help you. You understand what I'm saying? So connect with your classmates. It is very, very beneficial. And this last one, this is like my bonus one. This is something personally that I struggle with that I just want to share with you guys. So coming from a perfectionist procrastinator, do not procrastinate. When you're made aware of an assignment down the line, start on it. Start picking the pieces apart. Start doing research. Start doing it. Start doing that. So when it gets here, you're not like slammed. You understand what I'm saying? Because other things are going to come up. Life happens. Other obligations happen. Business happens. COVID happens. You understand what I'm saying? So don't procrastinate. Don't, from a perfectionist procrastinator, do not do it. I want stuff. I always want stuff just mm, like right on the right on the money and if it's not that i'm throwing it aside or i'm forgetting about it or i'm like i'll come back to it. like i i don't have everything that i need and it's not exactly how i want it so i can't get it done do not do that do not procrastinate you will feel bad it, it's not a good feeling it's not a good feeling you're gonna feel unprepared you're gonna um, blame yourself you're gonna have doubts like Procrastination leads to a, a whole streamline of other things. And me being a procrastinator in the past, and I'm gonna speak that into existence because I no longer procrastinate, I take action. Don't do it. You will be so much more happier with yourself and about your things. And things will come out so much better, more crisp, more clean, more, they have better quality at the end of the day when you don't procrastinate. Procrastination is a, it's a success killer. It, it limits you in the end. That goes for business. That goes for personal. That goes for any. That goes for school. Like procrastination, it it limits you from your full potential. That's how I look at it. So don't procrastinate. And that's all I have for you guys. I really hope you guys have a very good semester, a very blessed semester. Like I hope you guys are. I hope you guys excel. Like I hope. I hope this semester is just like a breeze for everyone. I hope it just be like, like it's just, it's just it. Like it's just everything. You have fun, you go to games. Like I just want this semester to be smooth for everybody. And I have a really good feeling about this semester. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited to go back. And I hope you guys are excited. I hope I helped someone. I hope that even though you have different things in your you know, in your life, implement it to help you be organized and be prepared and for college. You know, I know everyone is talking. You got seminars, you have orientation for college, like if it's your first year, you know, you have different people talking to your friends, you know, little study, you know, just different people saying things, but I hope this right here helps you just a tad bit more, just a little bit something that you haven't thought about that or that you don't do that can help you with your journey through college. If you like this video, if you like any of my other videos, make sure you leave a really, really big thumbs up. Leave me some feedback. Let's talk about it. If you have any questions down the line, like, y'all know I'm here. I always tell y'all I'm here for y'all. Like, we in this together, okay? We're in this together. So, yes, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys back on my next video. Bye.